Oh, it's really exciting to be here. It's so surreal um, and to be part of the first ever NRLW um, women's team, the inaugural team for the Raiders, it's it's an honour in itself to be chosen to be a part of the club and part of the team and it's just really exciting to be a part of a club that's really uh, really gets behind their women's program and every program that, that they're associated with. You know, you see what the Lisa Fiola team that's going to take place for the first time ever for the club and you see the Tasha Girl girls um, succeeding um, and going leaps and bounds from previous years to now having an inaugural team. So to have an inaugural team that creates many opportunities and create pathways for every young female player is pretty exciting to be a part of and hoping that we can and leave a legacy where every every Canberra uh, girl wants to play for this club and do this region proud and I'm really excited to be able to take the field and be a part of a team that's that's ready to represent the state and represent the community. You recently started a role in the football department so can you tell us a bit about that? How you won? I've just taken on the role at, as football operations, um, temporarily relieving Wendy Bennett um, while she's on maternity leave. Um, I've, re I've got really big shoes to fill and she's done an amazing job and you know she's trained me up and I've got, gotten the opportunity to go under her wing and do, see what she does day to day for the last couple of weeks and what the club and the staff do um, on a day to day basis that doesn't take place on the field. It's really surreal to be a part of that outside of the footy field, to see every staff member ride the waves of footy essentially, but in the offices and, you know, making sure that they do everything right so the so all teams can take the field and have no stress and just focus on what they need to do is, is incredible. And to be able to be seeing it from a different perspective, a different light on what what our staff do here is pretty incredible and I'm looking forward for the challenges that it provides um, and the experiences it creates for myself and I'm just looking forward to not only getting on the field but being able to see what I'm able to do off the field as a player and as a colleague. Wonderful. You've been in Canberra for a little while now. How are you finding being in Canberra? Oh, Canberra's a bit different, eh? Uh, in, a, in a really great way. You know, Sydney has been really busy. It's pretty full on and sometimes you forget what's happening around you. Um, the best thing about Canberra is it's not only like a beautiful state, you've got great eateries, but, you know, it's sort of easy to get around. You know, I'm not sitting in hours and hours of traffic and, you know, getting from one place to another is 10 to 15 minutes. So being able to commute around freely um, and being present in the moment and noticing the little things, I think for me, and I've briefly spoken to several people about it, is sitting that hustle life where you, you just go and you keep going and, you know, sometimes you forget what you're doing in that day and I know I, I knew my routine inside and out was wake up early in the morning, train, go to work, train again and then go home and sleep. Whereas here is I've got the opportunity to, you know, slow down a little bit, which is what I needed. I'd be more present, be more mindful and enjoy the state for what it is and the opportunities that it presents itself. And I've been enjoying my time here, really loving it. Um, the people are amazing. And just being in the short space that I've been able to be here, the community has been unreal in the way they support their their local teams and their, and, and their NRL teams. So I can't wait to add the NRL W teams for, for the region to get behind and I'm really excited to see what the next couple of months will bring to this um, region. What are you most excited about for this year? Oh, there's so many things to be excited about both on and off the field. Like on the field, is, it's getting to new, meet new people, you know, new teammates possibly and re reuniting with some old ones and, you know, Zahara Tamara, um, I'm really excited to have the opportunity to play alongside her just to be around her presence. She's such an amazing individual, amazing athlete and incredible human. And, you know, there's other players uh, uh, to relocate and to come down and experience what I'm experiencing. So I'm really excited to see the depth of the squad, uh, to get them to experience what the club is all about and how heavily invested they are um, for the community and for, the, for their players. So I'm really looking forward to that. 
um, off the field. I, I'm looking forward to the opportunity to get to know Canberra a lot better, you know, get to go out into our local communities, get to go to some local games where I'm able to, to observe and just to watch and um, just experience it all. And I'm really excited to see what the year holds and whatever happens, um, happens. And I'm just looking forward to embracing every moment and every opportunity that comes our way and looking forward to doing this um, region and this um, community proud. You've been part of the NRW since it started in 2018. Can you tell us a bit about, I suppose, what Raiders fans might expect in NRLW and just the excitement around being part of a new club because you've done that too? Oh. It's, you're giving away my age there. Um, so the inaugural to, uh, NRLW season kicked off in 2018. Um, can't forget the players that went before us to get the game to where it is today. You've got your players like Katrina Fanning. You've got Alicia Fiola, who's part of the staff now. There were past players that created the opportunities that we do have today. And I'm forever grateful for all the players that went before me that created this for um, for, for myself and for players that are currently playing. And I'm looking forward to um, being that pioneer of the women's game and the players that are currently playing right now that are, are doing the game proud. And hopefully we continue to inspire and leave a legacy that players want to, uh, that girls want to play rugby league. And so, so, so do volunteers wanting to work in the women's game. And, you know, I've been here since, I've been in the NRLW system for since 2018, since, since its commencement. Um, every inaugural team that I've been part of, um, I don't take lightly and is, I'm forever grateful for. And um, to see, Canberra having their first inaugural women's NRLW team and me being part of it, I'm really excited. Um, I know how much the club and the region means uh, and how they support their team, so I'm really excited about that. As for NRLW, as for the women kidding on the field, um, you've got to stay tuned and watch, but there's some amazing stories behind these players, a lot of sacrifices that, that's never been heard. You've got girls here that are from the local community that has that has been itching to to play rugby league and the opportunity never presented it to to themselves and to be able to be part of the first inaugural team that you know now they can see that there is a Canberra NRL W team there is a Raiders women's team there is a Tasha Gale team and now there will be a Lisa Fiola team there will be a clear pathways so they don't have to go away from the game and then come back there is a region that get, gets behind their local community, their local talents that will support them through anything. And to be part of this region, to have the clear pathways now for young girls, for girls that become moms and be able to come back, you know, like I touched on, there's girls that are part of the squad that has walked different parts of their lives to get to where, where, where they are today. And I'm really looking forward for their stories to come out because there's some really inspiring ones. And I'm really excited for all the talent that's coming our way. Um, we are, we are going to be a team both on and off, and I'm really excited for the girls to experience everything that Canberra Raiders has to offer in Canberra as a community. Thank you so much, Mimes. Can't wait to see you smash it this year. Thank you.